In this video, I want to show you how to go from Lightroom to Avoto AI and back to Lightroom without needing to create a bunch of extra files. So recently I did a webinar based around Evoto AI and my workflow. Well, in the comments, there were a lot of people letting me know that I was making extra steps that didn't need to be made. So I looked into it and that is exactly what I was doing. And I want to correct my errors by showing you how to do it. And I feel like this is very important as a portrait editor retoucher to save file space, save room, and honestly save time because I was doing extra imports that didn't need to be done. Now, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Josh. I'm a professional portrait photographer. And the focus of this channel is to help people like you grow not only as a better photographer, but potentially run a full-time photography business. So that's what I want to do in this video is I want to show you a step based around Evoto AI because that is one of the most popular editing programs out right now. Now, full transparency, I am not being paid to make this video. I have made branded content for Evoto. This is not one of them. This is completely of my own volition, my own idea, and my own concept. I want to right my wrongs for my workflow webinar, so we're going to do that. Let's go ahead. Let's get into it right now. I'm going to get over into Lightroom and I'm going to show you how to do this. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we are in Lightroom now and I have this photo of Cassandra that I want to bring over into a photo and do some retouching on. It is really simple. Like I said, we're in the develop module. I'm just going to right click, edit in, and edit in Evoto. Now this is Lightroom Classic, like I said. This is going to create a new TIFF file. It's going to bring it over into a photo AI, and then it's going to allow us to retouch it. I did show this way in my workflow video, so none of this is different as of up to here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to edit this photo, retouch the facial blemishes, the skin cleanup, things like that, uh, frequency separation, dodging and burning, do all of that. And then I'm going to show you the step that we need to take to get back to Lightroom. So now I have my photo all done. It's all touched up. It's ready to go. I didn't do a lot to it because this photo one already looked awesome. And two, that's not the purpose of this. I have videos about retouching on my channel. I will link them in the description down below and also put one up here for you to check out. But that's not what this is about. Now, this is where we go in and we're able to bring it back into Lightroom Classic. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go up here to export. We're going to click export. We're going to make sure that it says folder of original photo. And then we're going to click where it says a non raw image will replace existing file. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to replace the TIFF file that it created to get over into Evoto AI so that not the original raw photo, but that TIFF that it created, it's going to overwrite that. So we'll just go down, make sure everything else should be grayed out and we will go ahead and export this photo. Now it's going to let you know, it's going to come up with a warning. The export an image will replace the current file and this cannot be undone. Go ahead and hit OK. It is not overwriting the raw file because when you export, you right click export, it's making that extra file, that TIFF. So now we have two files. So let's go over into Lightroom and show you how to update that. So now we're in Lightroom, but it didn't automatically update. There's still one more step that we need to do. We're going to go in, we're going to click any other image. Let's just click one right next to it. We're going to go back and as you noticed, there's now an up arrow. What we need to do is we need to click that up arrow because it says metadata has changed. We're going to click that and we're going to import settings from disk. What that's going to do is it's going to read the file, read that we updated it in Evoto AI and then update it in Lightroom. So we'll go ahead and click that. And just like that, our retouched photo is now in here. We have our retouch photo. What that means now is we could go over into Photoshop with it just like we always did where I'm doing my color grading. I always end. So now I could right click, edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop. It will create another TIFF file just like it did when we went into Evoto AI. But 
I'm saving myself a step from importing and needing to do all of that getting in here. We now have our photo here, it's retouched. You can see our original is still right here if we want to reset all the settings. This is our original, this is our raw file. You can see the raw file format there. This is our TIFF. Now we can take that, we can go into Photoshop or we can end here, use our export settings here, but it now lives back in Lightroom instead of needing extra files, extra exports. It does count as a credit when you save it because you are exporting it. But you don't need to worry about an extra import, an extra step, trying to figure out where that file is, or that photo is. And I feel like this is exactly what I needed for my workflow. It, not that it slowed me down doing it the other way, but it slowed me down doing it the other way. Now everything lives right in Lightroom where I want it to. So now a lot of people ask me about my lighting. How did I light this photo? I have created a free lighting guide and I will put the link in the description down below, completely free lighting guide. It goes through all sorts of lighting tips, tricks, techniques about natural light, uh, loop lighting, butterfly lighting, headshots, and of course, Rembrandt lighting, which is what I use most of the time. This exact lighting setup is in there. So once again, if you want to download that, it is free. Link is in the description down below. Otherwise, if you wanna continue learning with me, check this video out right here. The YouTube algorithm and myself both feel like you would enjoy this one. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.